What's up, everyone? I'm Timothy Almaim Jr. You're watching Milam Asylum. Uh, 616 Wilford Lane. Um, it's a film about a grieving man who relocates with his two teenage daughters to a charming town into their dream home. Quickly, the dream becomes an inescapable nightmare. Dun dun dun! Stars John Littlefield. He's been in um, Hulk, and he's in the Fear Farm um, one and two as the father in that film. Um, he looks like the lost brother of the Baldwins. Um, when I was first watching this, I was like, "Damn, he looks looks like a Baldwin." <laughs> And uh, his two daughters are played by Kelly Savannah Deaton and Jessica Chancellor. Now, while you're watching this film, you're going to be like, eh, there's no way. There's no way. And there's a reason for that. There's definitely a reason for that. This film, although takes on a typical haunting, um, actually has... A couple of amazing twists in it and it's it's one of the most original uh, stories that I have seen and uh, I thoroughly thoroughly thought that was pretty amazing now for, as far as the film goes um, for itself the acting is a little bit hard to watch at times like, it's just not any good. Um, it, it's oftentimes just straight garbage. And every once in a while, it will hit. But it's a rarity. Um, it's a rarity. But what I loved about the film was they did the CTV cameras um, in the house. And so that would look like a live stream. And then you would see like the paranormal activity type of uh, filming. Um, the problem with that one is they have this. See if I can find a still of it. So you're going to show an image of one of those things. Um, there's, it's just a horrible. Um, I'm not going to find it. It's just a very bad. They have this border around it, and then the timestamp and the date. Um, the. I don't know how you want to present it, the font of it, the type setting, I guess, is some weird thing that makes it look very fake and generic and not like an actual um, cam security camera, and so it didn't give you the same um, appeal, you kinda, it almost felt very uh, um, fake. So I don't know why they chose to go that direction. Um, but this is filmed by Mark Allen and Dante Yor. And then I believe they both wrote it as well. But they did a damn good job um, with making an um, ordinary concept into a very original idea. Um... One of my friends, they didn't uh, particularly like it and gave it a 6.7. I believe the score was, yeah. And I, on the other hand, gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. Um, as far as voodoo goes, after you watch a movie, they have you rate it. And my personal score, um, because I absolutely thought the story was great, you know, and yeah, okay, the acting. And so the acting and the cinema photography just feels like like you're watching a Hallmark 
movie or uh, a Lifetime channel. It was just filmed that way, and it, it was it was it was difficult. But I promise you, it's actually really good, and I personally give it a nine point two out of ten. That's your review. I'm Timothy Almayam Jr. And until next time.